My name is Kelly Hembry, and this is the final presentation project for Business 343 Employee and Labor Relations. I will be assuming the role of Human Resource Director for the Sega Food Services Company for Case 6 of Chapter 9 in John Budd's tech book entitled Labor Relations Striking a Balance, 4th Edition. Thank you for joining us here today. If you will please turn to page 2 of your PowerPoint presentation, we will review the main points of the case. Mr. John Arnett is a member of the Teamsters Local 444 working for Sega Foods. Article 7 addresses holiday pay allowances and gives stipulation requirements for the company paid holiday. Article 23, entitled Leave of Absence, addresses personal day requirements. Mr. Arnett's normal work schedule is a 10-hour day through Tuesday through Friday. Labor Day falls on a Monday. Past practice has been to allow Tuesday as a given holiday allowance as long as the day is worked in its fullness between both the days before and after the holiday. Mr. Arnett did not satisfy the requirements to be paid the holiday due to not satisfying work requirements to receive that holiday benefit. The Teamsters filed a grievance to have Mr. Arnett holiday paid. As the Human Resource Director, before we start, allow me to give the process if the grievance is not resolved. This can be sent to an arbitrator, a mediator, or a grievance committee. For more, more details on these roles and responsibilities of these procedures, please see slide 3. The National Labor Union says that litigation is a costly option for both the employer and the employee. But I am sure, however, that this matter will be resolved and there will be no further action needed after Sega Food Services presents our case. To ensure that everyone is familiar with the term past practices, please see slide 4. Past practices is a dispute resolution method where the agreement is not addressed, the matter, and that the past practices determine the norm. One other definition that we should probably cover is grievance. According to our source, a grievance is a normal complaint that a provision of a collective agreement has been breached. A grievance has been filed with Sega Food Services by the Teamsters Labor Union to pay Mr. John Arnett's holiday pay. Sega Food feels that the holiday pay is not due to Mr. Arnett due to his failure to follow company protocol as stipulated in the collective bargaining agreement with the Teamsters. On the time frame in question, Mr. Arnett was scheduled to work his regular shift with a holiday allowance being given Tuesday in lieu of Monday Labor Day, which in the past practice, which is past practice for the company. Mr. Arnett then called in Tuesday night and informed the clerk on duty that he would not be that he would be taking a personal day on the following day, that be a Wednesday. Sega Foods' position on the matter is that the employee is not entitled to the holiday pay benefit. According to Article 7, Section 7.03, Subsection B of the Collective Bargaining Agreement, the employee shall have worked his full schedule workday immediately before and immediately after the holiday, except for proven sickness or entry. For more detail, see slide 6. Labor Day falls on a Monday. This was the employee's normal day off. And as past practice allocates, when the employee is regularly scheduled off directly prior to or after the holiday, the working requirement is levied for the regular scheduled day off. 
Article 23, Section 23.06, entitled Leave of Absence of Collective Bargaining Agreement, assures that each present employee will be entitled to four days of personal leave per contract year. Past practice has been to not to refuse a personal leave day if the leave was requested an hour and a half or more before a worker's schedule shift starts. Mr. Arnett did not did Mr. Arnett did call the night before and request a personal day for that Wednesday directly following the holiday allowance. This voided the holiday pay benefit because the employee did not work the scheduled day directly after as specified in the collective bargaining agreement contract. The National Labor Union stipulates in Fair Practice Standards Act that it does not require payment for time not worked such as vacation, sick leave, or holidays federal or otherwise. These benefits are a matter of agreement between an employer and an employee, or in this case, the employer representative. As such, Sega Foods considers the holiday pay a benefit given to the employees and is not required by law to pay the holiday. However, under the collective bargaining agreement, the contract employees are granted the holiday pay by adhering to the stipulations outlined under that contract. By Mr. John Arnett not working his full scheduled work day immediately after the holiday allowance, he did not meet the obligation stipulated under the collective bargaining agreement to receive the holiday pay. Sega Food Services will be making a change to the workplace process by making it mandatory to contact the employee's supervisor for approval prior to taking the personal time, the personal day. This action should assist in alerting the employee to any unrealized issues and assist the company in maintaining a better working schedule for others' employees. According to the Essential HR Desk Reference Book, though we are not required to inform the union until requested, we would like to inform you of this change in order for you to communicate it to the employees. In conclusion, Mr. John Arnett did not satisfy the prior arranged requirements for the collective bargaining holiday agreement. He forfeited his right to holiday pay by amending his regular schedule. Sega Food Services will be amending the personal day workplace process in order to not only assist employees with conflicts of interest but keep from passing undue burden to other employees. Thank you for your time.